to Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today I'm joined by Chef Robert Weedmeyer. And I'm so glad to be here, Tina. Oh, we're again. so lucky to have you here, direct oh, from... Oh, I don't know. Lucky? Luck? Come you're on. You're lucky. Direct from Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. And let's name your many restaurants. Marcel's. Okay. Marcel's named after my oldest son. Yes. Brasserie Beck. Named after my youngest son. Bravo. Bravo in the Kimpton Hotel. Yes. Lots going on in the Kimpton, Kimpton. Hotel. And the butcher shop there. Yes. And the tasting room. The tasting room. So it's a cool little place in Alexandria, Virginia. And you have some, you have a new place in the works, right? I do. It's going to be in Bethesda, Maryland. It's called The Muscle Bar. Love that name. Yeah, we're going to serve lots of muscles. Yeah, oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about muscles, muscles. muscles. <laughs> now, muscles. last time we cooked together, we, we made a beautiful beef carbonade, which That's is right. great. But you're showing a softer side of Robert Weedmeyer with some Well, fish. you know, I don't know about so soft, but, you know, it's, it's going to be, um, you know, it's summertime, yes. scallops. Uh, when we did the last show, it was during the wintertime, so we did the beef carbonade, which yes. is more earthy and wintry and so on. So yeah, I got live scallops from Maine today. Wonderful. I don't think a lot of people get to see those very often with the roe on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a sauce out of the membrane that goes around the scallop and then we're going to pan sear them and we're going to have some fun with them. Beautiful. Where should we begin, sir? Let's start right here. Okay, so here okay. they are, the live scallops. So these are these are live scallops. They're, they're actually, you know, divers go down in Maine and they, and they pull them out. They're not scraping the bottom of the ocean. Well, here we are. So you can see here and then, you know, that's the muscle there in the membrane. Yes. So what we're going to do, here you can hold one. Smell yes. it. It smells like you're standing in the ocean. Oh, it does. Huh? It doesn't smell it's like, so you know. so clean. And then here you can really see, you know, the, the row right on that. Now. See that? Yes, there's the row. See the row? Right? right you don't there? see that. Now, well, that's, that's the actual membrane around which we're going to make the sauce of, but the row is the pink that you don't see a lot anywhere anymore is the no. row on scallops. Are you going to utilize the row? We are. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my knife and we're going to just take that membrane off okay. very carefully here. And then, you know, this is what you want to do as a chef. You always want to be like sourcing out great products like yes. this, you know, and, and sustainable products. So, so here you have the whole inside of the scallop now. So what we want to eat is this part, obviously, which okay. everybody knows is, is the, is the, the it's muscle. Interesting to know that there's so much of it that is right. eliminated. Well, we're going. We but it. the thing is, we're going to use that to make the sauce. Okay. Okay. So we just cut that, you know, right underneath here. So you just take that, and the whole thing comes out. And actually, this is beautiful to save. Yes. Yeah, so well, we're actually going to serve the scallop in the shell. Perfect. So then you have that nice shell. Very okay? very nice. So then what we're going to do is take this membrane off here. Okay. See that's that's tightening up right now. See that? So not not any of it do you discard. You're utilizing gonna, every part. Just of it. a little bit. We're going to take this part right out here, which we we don't want to eat. Okay. This is where it filters most of the its food. It's coming through this. So we're going to take this off here. We don't want to eat this. So you just cut that off. Actually, the row has a beautiful doesn't uh, it uh, color to it. Yeah. And you know, it's a shame that a lot of people don't get to see the scallops like this, you know, and this is... It's true. We don't get to see this happen. Right. You know, So I thought process. this would be pretty cool to do, let everybody see what a real scallop looks like. And so, and then you have your scallop like this. Yes. So we'll do two of them, because uh, I think probably some people are going to be hungry here after this. Yes. Even though, so I got four, so we'll do another one here. Wonderful. And... Uh, and once we get this done, we'll make the sauce and then we'll just, we'll get the scallops all together. Now, here. is it true with everything else that if it's closed, if the scallop right. is closed, we discard it, we don't use well, it? Well, you know, with the scallops here, you know, they're, they're actually, you know, grasping for air. So they're open. Okay. I want to do, take the same thing here. You open it up. I see how there are different colors in the row. Oh, yes. Why is that? Well, some people would say this is a male and that's a female. Uh, I really don't know. Really? That's I interesting. I just know they taste the same. Okay. So... Let's just call this the female. Okay. Okay. That's nice because it's lighter in color. It's lighter in color. It looks a little, you know. Yes. A little feminine, nice. so maybe. A little feminine here. Now, so this which comes restaurant out. do you do you prepare this in? I do this at Marcel's. Okay. At Marcel's. So. Um, and Marcel's, if I remember correctly, is is that um, a more fine dining? Yes, very restaurant? fine dining restaurant. Okay. Um, it's been I've had it for twelve years now. And it's you hard have a to great believe. wine Time, list, I hear it's too. A, yeah, yeah, it's a really nice wine list. Um, we're very proud of the wine list. I send my sommelier all over the country and to, to uh, France to outsource new and different wines that you don't see on everybody's wine list. Yeah, that's Which interesting. is part, you know, that's a big part of running restaurants now is going out and sourcing things. Yes. You know, and finding cool things and, you know, sustainable items. You hear that term all the time, but, you know. It, it's, it's, that it's, term is ubiquitous now, it really. Is. It you seems. hear it everywhere, but it's been going on for years. I mean, chefs that have been doing this for a long time, it's not really new news. I know you've been doing it for quite a long time. Yes, yes, and you know, there's a lot of chefs that have, but then, you know, it's you gotta constantly be, it never ends. That's the great thing about being a chef, it never ends. It's always looking for new things, different techniques, 
Yes. And um, and getting things like this and, and dealing with farmers and fishermen and and the whole full circle deal. I, I like how you're showing us this process right here. It, it, it reminds me of something you told me back when we worked together uh, making the beef carbonade, how you often will will hang the, the whole animal in, right, your, right. in your kitchen right. in order to educate your staff right. about how, where everything comes from and, and, and how to, to properly exactly. butcher an animal. And, and I mean, this is, you're, you're very much into the origin of where things come from. Yeah, you want to get you want to yes. get the entire whole animal or the whole thing, because then you can extract flavors from this, like we're going to do with this. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. So what I'm going to do is take this muscle here, and I'm just going to cut this, the membrane here. And what does that, we're, you're going to use that actually, we're going to actually we're eat gonna, that? We're going to make the sauce out of that. Okay. So everything's used. Yes. You know, we try to utilize everything. So we're just going to take a little bit of butter. Into a nice in. hot pan. Or not no, too, not it's too actually hot. not you hot. Want it, you want it just to sweat okay. a little bit. So then we're going to take a little bit of shallots that are chopped finely. Right. Okay. Are we going to strain this out, or are we actually going to? We're eat going this? to strain this. We are going yeah. to. Would it be too tough to eat? Yeah, that okay. would be. Yeah, you can tell by. You know, I can tell just by looking at it. You could grind it and do some stuff with it, but I just like to extract the yes. flavor from the from the scallop for this. Great. So we're gonna let that just. We're gonna turn this up just a little bit more. Okay. There we go, and then we're gonna add this. We're just gonna let this cook for a little bit. We don't want to get any color on it because we're gonna make a white sauce out of this. Okay. Okay. So, what I want to do then is I want to add a little pinch of thyme. All right. Into this. I love thyme. Thyme's one of my favorite herbs. I think if you ask most chefs, most chefs will tell you their favorite herb is thyme. Thyme. Why is that? I just think that, you know, it's, it's not too strong. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, it's not feminine, it's not masculine. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like right in between like a Pinot Noir. Yes, you I know? understand what you mean. Use so, it, suitable for all occasions. Exactly. Yes. So what I'm going to do when we present the scallops, um, I actually use the brioche, or I, you can just use bread. So I'm you just use gonna, the brioche uh, as a base? As a, as a holder for the scallop. Okay. So I just, I just cut this here. I normally wouldn't cut on this, but um, I'm gonna just do this here real quick. Okay, and then we just gonna, we're just gonna set this on top of the plate when we put the scallop on there. Okay, I understand. Okay. All right, so here we go. We got, this is moving along like this. Okay. So sauteing it with some butter and thyme. You must so be going butter, crazy with fresh thyme. herbs right now. Right, yeah, it's great fresh Wonderful. herbs right now. So Tina, can you do me a favor? Can you pull me out this great white burgundy Steve's got in the fridge there? Of course. Because we're going to add this to the sauce. White burgundy? Our director is yes. known to have very good taste he, in his white burgundy. He does. He's, hasn't, he's never taken me down to his wine cellar, though, and I don't know why. <laughs> well, so, now we get to enjoy. So we're just going to add a little bit of this into here. Okay. Okay. And then we're just let that reduce a little bit. So now, you know, all the flavors are going to come together. We got the acid from the wine. We got the, the essence from the, the membrane of the scallop. And yes, gonna, our nice fresh herb. A nice fresh herb. We're just going to let that sweat for one second. And mm. then we are going to monte a little bit of butter into this after I add just a touch of cream, though, when it just goes a little bit longer. Is that heavy cream? Heavy cream, but just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let that whisk in here. Now, Tina, if you can grab me that butter over there. Of oh, no, it's right here. It's right here, hon. It's right here. Oh, you, oh it's right here. We already right moved here. it. You, we you, already you, moved it. We already used it. Okay, if you can just spoon me in some butter. Sure. That's good. We just do a little bit at a time. So what we want to do is leave this like not too high heat when you're monta or when you're you know emulsifying a butter sauce, but you want it hot. If it's too cold, if it, it doesn't have the, it'll break on you. Okay, that's a good tip to know. So. But we do it. Right. Gradually. And then one of the things a lot of young cooks don't understand, though, if you do break it, you can fix it. Okay. So even for people at home, if you're making this type of sauce and it breaks, all you do is strain it out and then add a little bit of stock, warm stock, and then re-emulsify it. Oh, like that's this. a very good tip to know, and to rescue us. Right, and it'll come back. Okay, yep. add a little bit more. Good. Okay. You're slowly incorporating right. the butter. So we're going to get this good flavor of that white burgundy, the, the oh, essence of the of the... The live scallop membrane, yes. the thyme. Real okay. gentle, delicate right. sea right. infused. It's gonna have flavor. a real oceany, like you know, sea yes. sea flavored, you know. And it'll be great to drink with a white burgundy. Stay tuned for more. We now return to the chef's kitchen. 
now we're gonna get to the fun part. Okay, okay. now we're, we're gonna actually cook these scallops. Okay. Wonderful. So we're gonna turn the heat up. We want to we want to get a nice golden brown on those. Okay. The good thing about live scallops or you know dry pack scallops is that you can do that because they're not soaked in any solutions like a lot of scallops are that you buy. So we have to make sure they're dry. Right. The scallops. We right. We're just gonna take this here. That is a large scallop. And this one here. Okay. And then we're gonna a little salt. And you were telling me that the the row actually only come, you only see it in these two distinct colors. Right, you're not gonna see it any other really color than these two colors, white and this right, nice red. Okay, and uh, if we can get some pepper, Tina, I think I need a little pepper, pepper mill. Is that Malden salt? This is Malden salt, okay. you know me, I always use Malden. Malden salt, yes, you know, you're my, Malden my, guy. I'm the Malden guy. I was well, arguing with my friends, they don't believe that I was the first one to bring it in D.C. Were you actually the I first? I think so. Oh. I'm going to tell them that anyway. They were giving me a hard time. <laughs> it's a good byline. It is. I'm not the molding guy. I'm the molding the mess, guy. Right? Okay. So there we go. All right, so the sauce is done. Good. This is getting nice and hot. We're going to throw a little bit of thyme into this. More of that okay. beautiful fresh thyme. I'm going to crush a couple garlic cloves. Mm -hmm. We'll just take these and just smash these. Voila. Love how you used your hands. Okay, let this go like that, infuse that a little bit here. And, you, and interestingly, you left the skin on. Yeah, you don't, need to, you don't need to take the skin off. But I just want to get the flavor of that. Okay, now it's getting nice and hot. Okay, now we're gonna take this and put this right in here. Nice. So, okay. And it's interesting, you're keeping the roe right on it. Right on it. So it cooks the same uh, time no, length as the no, actual scalp no, or no? Well, I'll end up eventually just taking that off. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna sear it just real quick here. I love this. I've never seen scallops uh, prepared this way. On the way. row. Yes. Scallops on the row. Scallops on the row. On the row. On the row. <laughs> well, Not good. on the rocks, on the row. See, we're like just, see we're just, so we're getting the essence of the garlic, yes. the thyme, the natural flavors of these scallops, which will be unbelievable. And the this. row is actually sweating out. We can actually see right. it sweating out. Right. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit more butter here. Okay. And we're going to do a little bit of fricassee of vegetables. We're going to have peas and Giro mushrooms. 10 minutes, chef. It's okay. wonderful now. I mean, I'm sure you're going crazy with the, the plethora of fresh produce available now in your markets. Oh, yeah. and, and you Absolutely. work a lot with local uh, farmers, yes. right? Down in yeah. the area, in mm -hmm. D.C. area? We do. I mean, a lot of the, the chefs in D.C. and all, all around the country now, because we're all seeing the big, we, we've been doing it for a long time. Yes. But now you're seeing everywhere, you know, farm to table, farm to table. We need to support our local farmers in the local farmers markets. It's very important. Yes. That we do. Because if you don't, you know, the farmers are becoming a, a dying breed. Yes, I know you it. Know? And we don't I want that to, we don't want that to happen. Well, it's a beauty. It's, it's almost like enjoying the terroir of wine. It, it's a beauty it of enjoying is. your local area. Is, uh, it really enjoying is. Enjoying the local produce of the farmers that have. Uh... Okay, now I'm going to take this off. Okay, so now. Because now I want to do it on a higher heat with for the this. scallop. Yeah. So at this point, is the roe is the it's roe It's pretty cooked? much cooked. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I want to just take this off. Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Okay, so we take that off. Okay. Smell that. Yes. Okay. Oh, the freshest scallops, and, and I do love scallops too. When they're. And then we're gonna like really get some heat on this now. Because we want okay. a nice. Right. Right. I'm actually going to take these now and just put these in here. Okay. Because okay. I want to get the essence of that just to poach them a little bit. We're going to add some peas, fresh peas. Fresh peas, love them. Okay. Could eat them like candy. All right, they're good for you too. Mm. We like those. Great for you. Okay, we're going to let those saute. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. There we go. You have fun in the kitchen. You ever get your boys in the kitchen? Do oh, yeah. Cook? Yeah. I actually had Marcelo do a demo with me uh, last week. Really? And he did a really good job. I mean, he was like, you know, he was. I had him ask the audience questions about food, which was kind of neat. Oh, really? Yeah. So he was like your uh, your warm up. He was. So he, he warmed up the crowd. That's great. I know you enjoy time with them. You, you you do your outdoor activities with them. That's right. Well, Marcel likes to, you know, as we know, he likes to hunt. Yes. With me and my buddy David Gloss, who's sitting out here in the audience, and uh, yes. the other chef that's coming on, R.J. Cooper. We're we kind of like duck hunt and goose hunt together. You're the D.C. crowd. Yeah. 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 So you, uh, you uh, duck hunt and goose hunt in Maryland? In Maryland. Okay. Yeah, we go down to Louisiana every once in a while where David's from. Okay. And uh, we do that. So it's a lot of fun, though, getting young kids, you know. It's that whole full circle thing yes. that we're talking about. You know, yes. it's like, 
you know, using whole animals, finding the sources, and using the whole entire product. Well, it's educating them. This is where the animals actually come from. Right. This is where they live. This is the foods that they eat. Right, exactly. Which will then influence how you taste them. That's right. So it's, it's great. It's great education for everyone. When we return, we'll finish and taste today's recipe. We're back with more of today's recipe. Now we're going to get to the little fun part here. We're going to take these two dishes here. And now I'm going to have you do this. Yes, sir. So you're going to take this and you're going to take this brioche. Right. And set that in the middle there. And you're going to press that shell right onto that hard, just like really this. Really hard? Just like that. Okay. So it sticks. It sticks. Almost. Just like that. Okay. Okay. And it doesn't, it does indeed stick. No, it's good just like that. Yeah. All right. So now we're getting a little bit better the color on these. These scallop shells are such a beautiful decoration, you know, just to... Yeah, they're, they're tasty. They're tasty. Okay, now these scallops are done. Feel that with your finger. See how firm that is? Yes. That's There's how no, we know. That's, it's, it's, you know, it's that, a scallop like this live is going to become nice and firm. It's going to cut like a, a, you know, a nice... So you don't want thing. it really brown. No, I want. I would have gotten a little bit browner. Okay. Um, but it's very easy to yeah. overcook these. Scallops. You don't want to overcook them, that's right. for sure. And that really ruins it. Right. So we got them just like this now. Okay. We're gonna set that in here. It's all the presentation. Beautiful okay. presentation, by the way. Just like this. Okay. Then we're gonna take our chanterelles and oh, peas. Oh, it smells beautiful. The mushrooms. Mm, when you brought it over, really. And then we're gonna add our roe right here. Lovely. Now, how would this would this be part of a tasting menu? This would be on the, this would be on the tasting menu. Okay. This would be on the one tasting of the menu. courses. Right, as one of the courses. And you like offer a, the tasting menu at Marcel's. Yes, yeah, so you can either do three, five, or seven different okay. tasting menus. It's a really wonderful way to get to know uh, your chef's artistry and your chef's passion right. is to do the tasting menu. I it's always a lot, do It's that. a lot of fun to do that. I mean, yes. and it's you know it's adventurous for people. I mean, a lot of people want to be. A lot of people want to be, um, you know, guided through the menu and see, try different things. Yes. You know, some people don't, but you know, the ones that do really, really enjoy it. It's it's a, it, it's just fun to uh, get to know your chef. Right. And, like, and it's a way know. that we get to express ourselves, you know, without just a regular a la carte menu, which we change at Marcelo's every day. And, do you, know, you really? Yeah, you change, change that often? Yeah, the menu changes very often. You know, it's it's. Uh, it's whatever you're seasonal. inspired by, whatever right. is out whatever, in the markets. Whatever, whatever we can get, you know, that's fresh and. Yes. Um, you know, local and in the season. So you don't want to be, you know, ever, as a chef, you don't want to be stuck to, you know, no. the same thing every day. Well, hey, you're not going to be stuck to the same thing. You have this new muscle, the muscle, muscle bar, bar the coming muscle up. Bar. And that's going to be a different take, right? Yeah, that's going to be a very casual, what I'm going to call my Flemish gastro pub. This looks beautiful, chef. Really, really So we beautiful. got the little mush mushrooms on there. So that's like going to be a gastro pub. Yeah, like a Flemish gastro pub, yes. like kind of really rustic. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. You know, we're gonna. Have, my buddies are gonna bring their motorcycles there. We're gonna like. Really, so it's really you know. laid back. Very, very polar opposite right. of Marcel. Where fine exactly. dining oh, totally is key. opposite of Marcel's. These are chai flowers. You ever seen chai beautiful flowers? Beautiful. I love chai flowers. To so really beautify okay. a dish. Voila. Not too much. And you're known for your Belgian beers too. Yes. Yes. We have like 130 different Belgian at beers. At Brasserie, I think, right? At, at Brasserie Beck. Beck. Yes. At Brasserie Beck. So now what we're going to do, Tina, we're just going to carry these over here. Gorgeous. Okay. Really gorgeous presentation. And we're going to set these right up on here. And I'll bring over the wine. And let's have some wine yes. and let's taste these. What a wonderful way to enjoy the day and to in, to celebrate the opening of your new restaurant, the Muscle Bar. The Muscle Bar. Voila. Voila. It's always a lot and of this fun to wine, This wine goes really well with this, too. Mm. You know, it's got all that, you know. And it looks, I love this one with, the, with that nice coral-colored row. It's right. really beautiful. Shall we toast? Yes, chin, chin. I believe chin. we should. Good to see you, Chin, Tina. chin. Mmm. Tasty. That's Good nice. job, Steve, on the wine. Thank you, director, for that beautiful yes. wine. All right. Here. Join I'm, me, I'm chef. Gonna, I'm going to cut it for you. Oh, thank you. You're okay. so kind. Here you go. Really are you are a vibrant personality and really a lot of fun oh, to, to work I love, with. I love I love working with you. I, I learn an awful lot. <laughs> with you. And you remember things. <laughs> There's a lot of good things to remember. You, you Can I memory. get a chanterelle? In there yeah, too? Oh yeah. Look absolutely. how generous you are with your portions too. Wonderful. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Tell the truth. Mm. Okay, good. I feel. I'm good all choked up. I'm so excited. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is beautiful. That's good. got a wonderful texture to right. it. And it's totally different Spongy? than scallops that are not, you know, live like that. Totally different. Can I coerce you to, ta to taste Absolutely. with me? Absolutely. Here. 
Here we go. Please, you must taste with me. That is exquisite. But I'd also like to taste a little bit of that roe. Yes, because that's definitely really a treat. Roe. That's something that you really can't get it anywhere. Actually, it's the first time I've seen mm. it presented this way. Is that not? That's a beautiful scallop. Mm -hmm. Very roe, tasty. I'm going to get one of those chanterelles too. Look at this roe. There you go. Beautiful color on that. Different, huh? Mmm. Yes. The texture is everything. Right. Right. And you don't see it that often, which you know, is really the cool. Outer, the outer edge of it is, is um, it's almost like a casing. It's like a casing, It's like exactly. a casing, or almost like a sausage kind of casing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very mild, Good gentle though. flavor. Very beautiful, yeah, like executed dish. Something very unique. Something so, so you, Robert Redmire. You oh, are truly you. unique. Thank and you. A great personality. Mm -mm -mm. Let's toast. That's to good. Again, that wine goes so good with it. And all of your ventures, the muscle bar. Let's enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for being on the chef's kitchen. I love being on the chef's kitchen. Wonderful to have you. Thank you. The Restaurant School is the exclusive partner of the chef's kitchen for the education and training in the culinary arts. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Craft services provided by Garces Trading Company, a European-style gourmet market where you can enjoy delicious bistro fare in a bright, airy setting. Flowers on the set provided by Nature's Gallery Florist, distinctive floral arrangements with European flair. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, The Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. Steve, you know, we've done this I don't know how many times now, but I, always when I come up here, I have a great time cooking on your shows because it's all about the food and the chefs and what's going on out there in the culinary world, and you're putting it out there. So thank you.